So this right here is the NES Classic Mini. This thing retails for about uh, 60 bucks, $59.99. Very hard to find. Um, they're pretty much sold out wherever you go. I happen to get lucky to pick this one up. I did have another one before this. Um, I actually waited in line for about an hour and a half to get one on launch day. Um, so this is my second one. Um, these things are a lot of fun, very nostalgic. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do then is go ahead and unbox it here for you guys so you can take a look and see what's all inside. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. And of course, um, online right now, they're already talking about how you can hack these things to put more games on them. So, I mean, that's definitely something that, you know, I'm not recommending, I'm not saying to do it, but it's just something that you can do, of course, to um, um, increase your library of games. It does include 30 um, games with it as well, too. Um, you know, a lot of great classic games that come with it, including like the Mario Brothers games. Um, you got some Final Fantasy, you got Legend of Zelda, um, you got Mike or Punch Out, not Mike Tyson's Punch Out, but you got Punch Out. Um, of course, you have like Mega Man 2, Balloon Fight, etc. So, like I said, it comes with 30 classic NES games built inside. So, all right, so we do have right at the top of the bat here. Looks like this is the, your um, your AC. So, this is a micro USB to a USB cord here. So, this is for your to power your system, your console. This looks like this is gonna be the controller. Oh yeah, there it is. Right there. This definitely brings back a lot of memories for me. I grew up playing the Nintendo. Um, so for me, this is awesome. I know that the controller, of course, is a lot shorter. Um, I believe it's like three foot. So it is a pretty short controller. Um, but it definitely feels like the old school Nintendo controller. So. It, did a good job of bringing that back to life. We'll go back inside here. Here's the console itself. We'll go ahead and save that for a minute here. Of course, you got your HDMI cord. Nintendo gives you the HDMI, so it's nothing spectacular. So we'll move on from there. Move on from that. Last thing in here, of course, is your... Oh, this is the power adapter. You actually hook up the USB to it. The wall charger. So we'll go ahead and get in there. And you do get as well too here. Let me take a look here. I think there was a, a poster or something included. Yeah, so you do get a poster, a nice old school Nintendo poster included with this as well. You got instructions, but nobody really reads those anyway. So I'm not gonna open up this whole thing, but you do get an old school. Well, I might as well open it up while I have this. You do get an old school Nintendo poster there. It's got Rob on there. You got some of the old games. Um, you got the classic, you got the controller, of course. You got the old console, the blaster gun, everything else. So it looks like you're playing some Duck Hunt on an old TV. So it's pretty cool you get that with it. Okay, so for the console itself, this thing is a lot smaller than what I expected. So this is it. This is the NES Classic Mini right here. I mean, as you can tell, it fits right in the palm of my hand with ease. So it's definitely, definitely a small, small console. Um, you got the old power button that pushes in, just like the old school one. Um, you got the reset button. You got one and two controller ports. Of course, the cartridge um, lid is not open. It's just built in like that. But yeah, you got your HDMI on the back there. You got your micro USB to power the console. It says HDMI over here. So as you can see again, there's a top of it there. There's the front. It definitely looks like the old school one. So they did a great job mimicking that and building it into a little compatible console you can take with you to go. So again, this thing retails for, like I said, about 60 bucks. If you can find it in stores, that is. Um, 60 bucks if you can find it in stores. Um, a great throwback to the 80s, to the 90s for me, playing this thing in the early 90s. Um, so again, you get 30 games built in, you get the classic controller, you get the console, you get the HDMI. 
So, and again, the portability on it's great because you can take this little thing anywhere you go. You don't have to haul around a big old school console itself. So, again, this thing is great. I recommend it if you can find one. I know Best Buy has them up there once in a while. Uh, every so often they'll throw up like a, a quick sell on it. You got to get there early, you know, keep hitting that F5 button to try to refresh the page. Um, if you can grab one, I recommend doing it.